All right, this one is response to the XRP ETF that everybody keeps wanting. Um, XRP doesn't fit that that world the way Bitcoin did. You have to understand. I think people don't understand exactly what happened with that Bitcoin ETF, but I'll explain it to you. The Grayscale had something like contracts that you buy the contracts and they'll hold XRP in, in your name. Okay, that was like an ETF-ish, but the fees were high. BlackRock saw that. BlackRock said, ooh, we can make money out of that. Let's do an ETF with low fees. So did everybody else. Arc Investments and everybody else. So what happens is in the process of all these Bitcoin ETFs popping up, a lot of people started selling off their grayscale contracts, Bitcoin, in order to buy into a lower fee ETF, like BlackRock and Kathy Woods, whatever, um, ETF. So that's why the price of Bitcoin has dropped down. But that was a strategic move within the whole Bitcoin world, and that's going to happen again with the uh, Ethereum. XRP doesn't really fit in that world. So people wanting an XRP ETF, I'm like, why? There's nobody selling contracts on it. As a matter of fact, Gemini is going to start doing it now, but it's nothing like what Bitcoin was for so long. So forget about the XRP ETF because it doesn't fit that model. And time, but for now, it has nothing to do with us. And I don't want Wall Street inside.